Horses have worked with and for humans for centuries, in agriculture, transportation, in wars, and nowadays, mainly in leisure and sport. But the Fortune Center of Riding Therapy uses horses in a very different way. Here they teach people with learning difficulties and disabilities how to live with greater independence, self-reliance, confidence and other essential life skills. The Fortune Center provides further education through horse mastership. I'd like to introduce you to some of the young people whose lives and prospects have been transformed through equine-based learning. Kieran is coming to the end of his first year. He has autism and a sensory processing disorder, which means that he has difficulty making sense of what other people do and say. So you, you came here, well, how long ago? Um, like, a, um, say like a year ago, I would think. Oh right, and, and it's all going well? Yeah, I feel like it is. My writing's getting better, my is reading's it? getting better, my maths is getting better. Getting more independent on like trains and stuff. In I, just a year? Yeah. I can now go back on a train back home because before my mum used to take me everywhere. And now I do more independent stuff, order taxis, go on trains, get on buses back home, things like that. D is it right you lost a bit of weight when you came here? Yeah, I was 15, 2 and now I'm 13 stones exactly. Well, you look fine to me. Thank you. All the extra work on the yard I do, I go to gym three times a week, go swimming one time a week. And yesterday and Saturday I did a swimming competition in Wales, so it helps to lose a bit of weight. I'm thinking of curve, I also when I was bullied at school I, for my stress I normally ate a bit more than, so it didn't really help with that. And also, when I was at home, I didn't do sports until the evening. And now here, I do sports every day. Do you every day? Yeah, working with the horses, lifting um, hay, straw, so a bale shaving. So it's helping me lose weight, get my arms stronger. And how does that make you feel? Um, Losing weight. It makes me feel happy. Makes me feel healthier. You actually feel that, do you? Yeah. You don't, you don't miss tucking into a big bag of crisps or anything? Uh, not that much, really. Do you actually physically feel like you're enjoying feeling healthy, are you? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. It helps when I'm cleaning tax, so it may, reminds me to clean my room at least once a week. And do you? <laughs> not always. <Westminster. laughs> <laughs> but what that's you you see that that's what that's the value of this it's yeah it helps remind me how to clean my room uh-huh and that's all just just come from a year yep. of sort of thinking about these things in a different way yep and um you know the the, the keeping a stable clean is it helps you. transfer skills to my room yeah when i have to take out um my duvet must clean it. It's like you also got to take out the shavings. You got to put some new stuff in. It helps transfer skills over like that. And before at school, I don't normally used to make my bed. My mom normally did it for me. But you're moving on from all that. Yeah. And has your mum noticed a big difference? Yeah, it's a lot more easier for she my. She doesn't have to make your bed anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so we're done with our tax and normally we have to write it in the book here. Uh, normally we have to sign it in our New York tax. We write our names or our initials where we clean, so like saddles, bridles, we put here. We put our initials there and then the staff will have to check it. And as it's clean, they put their initials underneath. And it's how it helps me write reading and writing because I look for the horse's name, like Martha, look for saddle, bridle, by who, and then who signed it. So it's all helping with my reading and writing. And is it, is it helping you with your reading and writing? Yeah, my reading and writing is getting better. I can read things now and focus better. So it's slowly getting easier and easier. Brilliant. God, who'd have thought? Vaulting is an activity where the students learn to move in time with the horses either by their side or on their backs. This improves their balance, coordination and timing, which gives them greater control over their own thoughts and bodies. Maria is about to finish the three-year course. She has dyspraxia, dyscalculia and nystagmus, 
This means that she has difficulty with coordination and numbers, understanding others and problems with her eyesight. How did you feel before you came here? A bit nervous. Just because it was yeah. unknown? And yeah. You know, they did things like vaulting and loose going, which I've never done before. Mm. No, I don't think many yeah. people have, have they? It's yeah, not... Uh, it's not yeah. And then you come to the Vault Research Centre and say, you know, hey, they do vaulting here. And then people are like, what's that? <laughs> you know, I don't know. You know, and they say, oh, you know, it's gymnastics and horseback and all this. I soon get it. Do you like vaulting? Yeah. And what does that give you? That's something different from this, loose yeah. schooling, isn't it? Stretching, it helps me to, you know, build muscle and uh, build core strength and stuff yeah. like that. And teamwork, because yeah. you have to help each yeah. other, don't you? And that's a get, communication. Get the equipment in, like the barrel, mm -hmm. you know, get the horse ready, the equipment sorted out. Mm -hmm. And talking to the other guys. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Or not just talking, actually, is it? Because it's sort of communication without it's just reading people, isn't it? Like, yeah. 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 Yeah, you practice reading Reggie and yeah. looking at how he was feeling, and he yeah. was telling you that he was finding everything a bit strange. Or yeah. Well, I certainly think <laughs> that the way you talk and everything has changed over the last yeah. three years a huge amount. And I think Reggie was telling you today that he could hear everything you said. Yeah. What do you think you're going to take away from here? What do you think these lovely horses have have given you to take away? Confidence and everything, really. Everything? Yeah, crossing the road when we did ribbon work earlier, as you saw. Yeah. Crossing the road, you know, speaking to people, making friends, how's behaviour around see, people. I, 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 I'd never have known you had no. a problem speaking to people mm. because uh, you seem to communicate so well. She does now, yeah. yes, at the beginning she found it very difficult, didn't you? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Well, that's new school and it used to be gone over the place, didn't it? <laughs> Did it? Yeah. But you've always had a love of horses, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. And what have they given you? What is it that they do for you that, that calms nobody me else down can? if I need it, you know. Do you, what, just hanging out with yeah, them calms you down? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Happiness. <laughs> yeah, they make you happy. Yeah. That's enough to take away oh, happiness, done. confidence, yeah. communication. The Fortune Centre has increased Maria's confidence and independence so much that she can now manage situations which used to throw her without reverting to extreme behaviour. And this makes it easier for her to join in with activities and to make friends. We work here with young people who feel more comfortable and more motivated and inspired when they're on with or around horses. And we work with that to teach them the things that they are very keen to learn and transfer that ability into things that they must learn and have missed learning in previous schooling for various reasons. The things that mean that they're developing their ability to read and to work with numbers, to manage money, to be able to look after themselves independently and develop self-reliance and the skills for, for the workplace. Daisy is coming to the end of her first year at the Fortune Centre. She has autism and a lesser known syndrome called prada Willy. So it makes it very difficult for me, my syndrome, to cope around situations with food and it it makes you want to eat and you can't always help the temptations that you get. Right. So before you came to Fortune Centre, was it, it was hard for you to manage your diet, was it? Yeah, it was really difficult. Um, where I was at before in mainstream education, um, the plans weren't really in place to support me correctly. Um, so I was able to go and get food from the um, tuck shops and I would buy things that I couldn't eat and I, I would take excessive amounts of money with me, more, far more than I needed and I would go and eat my lunch and then I would go to the canteen and tell them I, I'd dropped my lunch or that there was some sort of problem with it just to get myself another it's lunch. Food. Yeah, and it it's, it was something that I hated because I wasn't myself. I was trapped in a body of 
the demon of my syndrome. Wow. Um, and since then I've turned it around in a year. And you've, you've come here? Yeah. Where you're learning about portion control? Yeah. Uh, it's a lot it's a lot better because here I have the horses and when things are difficult th they distract me but also do you find that because they need a lot of caring for don't they yeah that, and do they remind you that you need caring for too yes and you have to lavish that care on yourself too mm. don't you yes exactly and they you're do. managing that are you yeah yes so when how what year are you in here how I'm in my first year you're in your first year only my first year, I only right. started in September. Right, gosh, wow, you've made big changes. Yeah, massive changes. And, and how does that make you, how does that make oh, you feel in yourself? Amazing. Oh, Makes does it? Makes feel so much fitter. Uh, before, walking around something like the space of the yard about a year ago would have been just pff, horrible. Would it? It would have been hell. Would it? But now I can get on, I can ride horses, I can control them. And it's down to the point that you, um, you've got William, he, um, he's a little um, Welsh section C, and you have to be um, under 10 stone to ride him. Right. And I can ride him now. So. And you couldn't when you came? Yeah, How no. fantastic. Yeah, I couldn't a year ago. And do you feel like that you've got you kind of got a bit more of the reins on yourself and where you can steer yourself and where you're all going yeah, now and yeah. give yourself a giddy up? Yeah, I think about the horses talking to me um, um, because I have a tendency to anthropomorphise them because they're just great friends to me and I love the feeling of friendship from them yeah. that you get. Just um, tell me about your plate. Yeah, my plate. Um, so this is my dinner plate, right? And this gives me control. I I use this for um, two out of the three meals that I have in a day. Uh -huh. So um, where there's carbohydrate, I get it. Um, that goes in the yellow, and where there's protein, that will go in the red. And then I have veg in the green, and I'm allowed two portions of veg because that's healthy and it just gives me that little bit more energy in a healthy low calorie way to get on with my day and to be able to work with and make the best out of the use of the horses here um and because this this is just this isn't it this, that's your it pa that's really. your pasta cubes there yeah that's your high fi light yeah. Oh, no, that's your high fi light, maybe. Yes. And that, let's say that's your balancer there. Yeah. <laughs> it just that really that that sort of thing exactly. I'd never been introduced anywhere, even by my specialists, to a plate like this. Mm. But I think it's really helpful. Yeah. Because you've got horses. Yeah. I've got horses to help me now. Yeah. Yeah. The centre has had a huge impact on Daisy's life. She has learned to consistently manage her diet whilst using positive strategies like feeding the horses to manage her behaviour around food and change, things that were once incredibly hard for her. It's a remarkable way of learning. Now it's my turn for a lesson. Adam is coming to the end of his three-year course. He has learning difficulties and problems with social interaction. What was, what, was, what was I doing wrong then? What were the golden mistakes? The golden mistakes were basically beginners. <laughs> yeah, because I'm basically a beginner, yeah. what, but being a bit timid. Yeah, a bit unbalanced, but everyone begins a bit unbalanced. I didn't, yeah. I find sitting sideways on a horse really weird. That is very difficult when you start Yeah, because of that, which you're not um, aware of when you're astride. When you're sitting on the horse's back, facing forward you aren't aware of no. that and then you sit sideways and you just 
Yeah, and you still worry that you fall over backwards. But then that is a That's core, core strength, strength isn't it? Yeah. to keep you on. And then once you're backwards, that is also a different. You feel yeah. different as well because you're doing, you're going against the horse. In all of the different ways that you were sitting, you get mm. a different style of movement. Yes, you do, completely different. And then when you're halfway between both, all of the movements, you get another yeah. different one. Yeah, and you're moving. And then it basically helps you to sit to the horse's walk better. It also helps to have a good horse like this. It really helps to have a good horse like this, like all the horses here. How did you feel when you first did that, vaulting? Nervous. i never done it before, before I came but here. But you rode? But I rode a lot before I came here. And what do you think it's given you? It's given me more balance. It's a good test of your core strength as well. And so confidence too, and I think, yeah. 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 And you've got a job in a yard, haven't yeah. you? But you should um, study to teach. I will be doing my British coaching certificate. Will you? When I'm there. At, at, the, at the yard? Yeah. Where you're going? Oh, that's brilliant. You should definitely do that because you're a natural. You've got <laughs> a lovely, you. calm um, manner that gives, gives the, your pupil confidence. <laughs> yeah, it was really good. Thank you. Thank you. Very impressive. I think they leave here having achieved what they set out to achieve in the beginning. So that sense of achievement is very powerful. Some of them have accredited qualifications when they leave. They all have qualifications of some kind. And they go either into work, occupation, not always with horses of course, sometimes with other animals, perhaps in catering, perhaps in care. And some of them go on to other courses and they're able to keep up with a course in a mainstream college. And some go and are able to make positive contributions to the community in which they live when they leave here that is independent of their parents. And of course, that's very important for yeah, them. Yeah, for everyone, for yes. the parents too. Yes, yeah. yeah. Livy graduated from the further education through horse mastership course in 2014. Um, where were you at school before here, coming here? Um, I don't mean where, I mean what, what was going on in your school I, before you came here? Well, I was, I've been in three different schools before here. Really? Yeah, and um, and because I got really badly bullied, I mum decided to move me and then she was like, I want you to go to the Forty Centre. How did she hear about it, do you know? Um, someone from the other, another school, a school that I was at, and it was just by chance, really. Um, and you were a, a keen rider this yeah. time, anyway. Yeah, and it was, and it just made me so confident. It just made me so confident, and so. And how do you think that is? Um, Can you look back and see what it, what the things that gave you that confidence? That just, you were doing? just everything. It's everything, and the figuring out that I can actually make friends and not no one's going to judge me because the horses don't judge you. No, never. And that that, that was a fear of yours, was it? Yeah. Going to a new People, place that you wouldn't make no. friends. People and I wouldn't, wouldn't make like friends. They wouldn't, they wouldn't allow me to fit in because I have difficulties and because I have, because I look different. And, and people were like exceptional for me and that made me feel better about myself. And I learned how to become more less reliable on staff and more reliable on myself. It took at least if two years. Did it? And then the and then the end of my second year I was able to stick up for myself, stick up for my own feelings. And I went to a mainstream school, mainstream college and it was just, you know and had I not been here I would not have been able to do that. You wouldn't? No, because I'd been scared stiff of people judging me and people thinking that she's different. But when you came to leave, were you, were you going, come on, bring on, yeah. bring on the world? Were you ready for it I was scared, all? but yeah. I was still like, good come scared. on then. 
Yeah, it was good scared. I didn't know what to expect when to go to mainstream college, but I, now I got the most achieve it, highest achieving people in my class. Oh, why not? And I wouldn't have thought that was going to happen if I hadn't been here. That wouldn't have happened. How about things like going, you know, using trains and shopping um, and everything? Were you, were you okay with that when you came here? Or you just it didn't enter your life? If I, had to make a cha if I had to make a change in the train, I would not know what to do. I'd be panicking. I would, if it was a tr station that I knew, fine. If it, wasn't, if it wasn't the station that I knew, I would be thinking, oh my goodness, what am I doing? And if, I, and if there was a delay, something happened with the trains, I would have a panic. Would you? I'd start worrying. Did you lean um, heavily on your parents? Yeah. Then, for everything? Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Really? I relied on my parents because I had no friendship group at all. And they must be so proud of you living in a flat. They, they are. Oh, they they are love better. it. They I love the fact that I live in that. They love enough that I live in a flat, to be honest. And do you still touch base with horses now you've left? Yeah, I do. I'm still in constant contact with them, well, as much as I possibly can. And I mean, I'm doing work experience at a child's care, no, at a preschool now. How's that? Uh, yeah. You must be meeting lots of people there. Yeah. And, and that's fine? And I didn't think, years ago, I didn't think about that. I didn't think I'd be able to do that. I'm really proud of myself, to be honest. Great, I think everyone's pretty proud yeah. At the Fortune Centre of Riding Therapy, students have a new chance to learn. On a three-year residential course, they learn in a way that finally works for them. Learning around the horses, they overcome problems which have prevented them from living independently and being part of a peer group anywhere. Horses offer an effective way of developing new habits, new life and work skills and greater reliance. Through the horses, life starts to mean relating to others and achieving.